Today, I will demonstrate you how we can measure the blood pressure. We'll also check the effect of exercise on blood pressure. Dear student, first of all, I will give you a brief introduction of blood pressure. As the heart beats, the blood pours through the arteries, cause a rise in pressure called systolic pressure, followed by decrease in pressure as the heart ventricles prepare for the next beat. This lower pressure is called as diastolic pressure. We can measure blood pressure using an instrument known as sphygmomanometer. Dear student, according to guidelines of Center of Disease Control and Prevention Authentic Source, the normal blood pressure should be below 120 by 80 millimeter of mercury. This includes a systolic pressure reading under 120 millimeter of mercury and diastolic pressure under 80 millimeter of mercury. To measure blood pressure, we use an instrument called sphygmomanometer. This device composed of an inflatable cuff which is wrapped around the arm, a measuring device which indicate the pressure, a bulb to inflate the cuff, a valve to release the air. We use stethoscope to listen the sound of arterial blood flow. First of all, use a properly sized blood pressure cuff. The length of the cuff's bladder should be at least equal to 80% of the circumference of upper arm. Wrap the cuff around the upper arm with the cuff's lower edge one inch above the anticobital fossa. Now, lightly press the stethoscope's bell over the brachial artery just below the cuff's edge. Now, rapidly inflate the cuff to 180 mm of mercury, release air from the cuff at a moderate rate. Listen with the stethoscope and simultaneously observe the sphygmomanometer. The first knocking sound is the subject systolic pressure. When the knocking sound disappears, that is the diastolic pressure. The subject has normal blood pressure, which is 120 by 80 mm of mercury. Dear student, now we will check the effect of exercise on the blood pressure. For this, ask the subject to exercise for about 30 minutes. We will check the blood pressure after exercise.
Dear student, now the subject has high blood pressure, which is 130 by 90 millimeter of mercury. Now you can note the difference between normal blood pressure and the blood pressure after exercise. There are different precautionary measures while taking blood pressure using sphygmomanometer. First, use a large cuff on obese and heavily muscled subject. Second, for pediatric patient, use a smaller size cuff. Third, in pediatric patient, the lower blood pressure may indicate the presence of hypertension. Number four, don't place the cuff over clothing. And number five, always flex and support the subject's arm. Dear student, this experiment makes you understand the importance of getting accurate blood pressure measurements so that you have clear pictures of your risk factor for heart diseases and stroke.